Hello there, you amazing viewers and subscribers. Welcome to a new Doctor Who video for today. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about the Doctor Who, the Blu-ray collection sets and what seasons I would actually like to see come out on Blu-ray. So I've actually written down 10 seasons that I really, 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 really want to have out on Blu-ray. So with nine of them already out on Blu-ray behind me on the shelf here, we've got 8, 10, 12, 14, 18, 19, 23, 24, and 26. So we have nine box sets and the 10th one coming out in December. So here are another 10 Doctor Who seasons I would actually like to see come out on Blu-ray. I Possibly for the next couple of years, maybe in the next three years, hopefully. I want, Don't get me wrong, I want every single season of Classic Who out on Blu-ray, but... The way the animations are going at this rate, they are speeding up slowly. We, I mean, we're just getting that very first proper William Hartnell one. So hopefully Hartnell gets more animation stories animated soon. So these are the list of the seas of 10 seasons I want out on Blu-ray. So in 10th place, I definitely want this season in 10th place because I really enjoy it. It is season 25. Season 25 contains over four stories, over like 14 episodes like you do. For season 23, season 24, season 25 and season 26. In this season we have Remembrance of the Daleks. Which is one of my favourite stories. The Happiness Patrol. Which is a fantastic Sylvester McCoy story. I absolutely love that one. As well as the Silver Nemesis. Which I really do enjoy. Because that is a good summon story. I don't see even though the summon aren't in it much. But the plot is a bit like Remembrance. But still very much enjoyable. And of course, the greatest show in the galaxy. Now, season 25, if this comes out on Blu-ray, it will possibly mean we will have every single McCoy season out on Blu-ray because we've already got season 24 and season 26. Season 25, boom! So that's McCoy's run out on Blu-ray. Absolutely fantastic. That's the only thing I can say about why this one is in 10th place because I don't want it too soon. I mean, I would I like to have wait for this in a couple of years, say... So, Round about the 60th anniversary, because this is the 25th anniversary, this is the 25th season, and it is the Silver Jubilee of Doctor Who, rather treat that's the Silver Jubilee. So hopefully we will get this round about the 60th anniversary. So in ninth place, I put this one in ninth place because I really want this one. Season 7. Season 7 is John Pertwee's first season, containing over four stories. One of them has already got a Blu-ray release, which I've got here, so I'll show you. Which is Sparehead from Space. This has already been fully restored into HD. Which means we've only got three more stories that we need to have on Blu-ray. Which is, you probably know, Doctor Who and the Silurians, The Ambassadors of Death and The Inferno. If we get season seven complete, John Pertwee will have his first and second season on Blu-ray. Along as well with his fourth season on Blu-ray. Because season ten is his fourth season. So, if Season 7 does come out, yes, people most probably moan about The Ambassador's Death. Because The Ambassador's Death is... It's very hard to get through seven episodes of The Ambassador's Death. It is very hard. I've even I've managed it quite a few times. And even though I think it's a great story, even though I think it should have been a four-part, not a seven-part story. And Inferno, one of the best stories of Season 7. This Inferno and, of course, Sparehead from Space... Are the top two stories from season seven that I really enjoy. Now in eighth place, the one I really really want is season twenty two. Now season twenty two we have Attack of the Cybermen, Ventures on Varos, the Mark of Irani, the Two Doctors, Time Lash, and Revolution of the Daleks. Colin Baker's full first full on series. Now he's only got two full series and one story in season twenty one. Now, Colin Baker has already got season 23 out on Blu-ray. But if we have season 22, Colin Baker's main little two-season run is complete on Blu-ray. That's the one thing people, I really think, people think Colin Baker is not a great doctor. I mean, if I've watched people in the ranking list quite a lot. Even though I enjoy Colin Baker and he is my seventh favourite doctor, I really, I really would like to see his doctor get a bit more love. So if... It comes out on Blu-ray. I really think with people buying the standard release of Season 26 and getting the limited edition of Season 22, I really think that will boost up Colin Baker's Doctor. I would actually see Colin Baker's Doctor get boosted up because he ain't that bad. He's absolutely a great Doctor. I do enjoy Colin Baker's role. 
I really do enjoy Colin Baker in the role of the Doctor, I should say. So I've already said season 25, season 7, season 22. So in 7th place it is season 2. Now season 2 we only need one F story to be animated. But the rest of it exists. Episode 1 and 3 exists of the Crusade. So all we need is episode 2 and 4 to be animated. And then it is completed. The Crusade is then complete. And if the Crusade ever does get complete it means season 2 would be out on Blu-ray. Now, season two, it is the second season of Doctor Who in total. It is the second season of William Hartnell as the first Doctor. It is Susan, Ian and Barbara's last season with the Doctor as well, because Susan leaves two stories into it, where Ian and Barbara leave round about the second to last episode of the season. The last episode of the season, it is about her. It's a great story, which is the time middle. Imagine seeing that on Blu-ray. That's one thing I have to say. Now, in sixth place, it has got to be another Tom Baker season. Season 13. I would like to see season 13 get the Blu-ray treatment. With season 17 come out, I had high hopes we were going to get season 13. That which means we will have the Philich Hinchcliffe era complete on Blu-ray. Now, Philich Hinchcliffe is the best showrunner for Doctor Who up to date. I really love his stories since season 12, 13 and 14. Now... Yes, he has these three seasons. Two of them are already out on Blu-ray, but Finish Ranger Cliff, his whole era is just brilliant. Just brilliant. Now, the episodes you have in his era, it is Robot, Ark in Space, Santor Experiment, Just the Daleks, and Adventure Summon, which is season 12, and that's already out on Blu-ray. Where season 13, we have Attack of the Zygons, The Planet of Evil, Pyramids of Mars, The Android Invasion, The Brain of Morbius, and of course, The Seas of Doom. Which has no Blu-ray treatment so far. And I would really like this to get the Blu-ray treatment. Because season 13, it is the best Tom Baker season completely. Season 12 and 14 are very, very close behind. Followed by season 17, then 15 and 16. And then, of course, 18. But I enjoy season 18 a lot more than season 16. I need to rethink how I rank the Tom Baker seasons, to be honest with you. I need to rewatch them all in one massive go. I do enjoy season 13 because it's Tom Baker and Elizabeth Sladen at their very, very best. It is magnificent. So we have Sue Tech. We have a story like Jekyll and Hyde. The Brain of Mobbis, which is a fantastic story to watch around about Halloween. So much stuff can go on in these stories in this list. I just really want season 13 to complete the Village Hinchcliffe era, because season 13, I really, really, really enjoy season 13. Fifth place. Now, I really want this one to be complete, because all we need is one story from the season to be animated, and it is the Space Pirates. Now, the Space Pirates has a really bad reputation in the Doctor Who fandom. I've been talking to a few people on the Doctor Who groups I'm on, and Space Pirates doesn't really get much love and I don't understand why because it's the second to last story of Troughton I would really like to see this story I've only watched episode two because it's in the Lost in Time DVD box set but I really think the Space Pirates could benefit if it gets animated and season six is then released on Blu-ray now season six it is Patrick Troughton's last season as the second Doctor and as well you do have some great stories in there like the mind of the mind robber the invasion the Seas of Death, the War Games, the Croutons. Fantastic stuff. And then, of course, with the Space Pirates having such a bad reputation, I really want to see why that is. I don't understand why it has the baddest reputation so far. For all of the Triton stories, this is the only one I actually hear about that's got such a bad reputation. And I don't really understand why. It's a missing story. It's six parts. Have that animated, and then I can make up my own judgment. Does it deserve to be... The baddest childhood story completely? I don't really think so. I think it could be great. We never know. Fourth place. Now, this one I really want because this is a John Pertwee season. Season 11. Season 11 has some great stuff. It is Sarah Jane's very first season, but with John Pertwee's Doctor, where she does literally she leaves John Pertwee and then travels with Tom Baker when the Doctor regenerates. But this is John Pertwee's finale song season, which has... Time Warrior, Invasion of the Dinosaurs, Death of the Dikes, The Monster of Paladon, and of course, Planet of the Spiders. I really like Planet of the Spiders. I think it's one of the good regenerative stories, to be honest with you. Oh, to you, Sarah Jane, 
Don't cry. Don't cry. Why, well, there's life. There's. I really like the way he just dies, and then you have the person going, The doctor is alive. No, you're wrong. He's dead. You, but you forget. He is a time lord. I really like Planet of the Spies. I think it's a good regeneration story. So that's fourth. Now, into the three ones which I really, really want. So, in third place, season duh, 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 15. I really want season 15 because it is the season with Leela. It's Leela's main full on season as the Doctor. With the Doctor, sorry, not as the Doctor, with Leela. Because Leela came into three stories at season 14, which we got. I mean, I think it'd be great if we could benefit from Leela's first full, like, full season with the fourth Doctor. In this season, we have Horror of Fangmok, which is one of the best stories. We also have The Invisible Enemy, which I really enjoy. Not many people do, but I still think it's got good. Image of the Fan Out, a fantastic, creepy sort of episode. And then, of course, we have The Sunmakers. Eh, not so much. Not a great story. Underworld, I need. To, I still need to rewatch Underworld. I haven't watched it in a very long time. I forgot. Uh, no, I ain't even got it on VHS. I got it on DVD. I need to rewatch it, to be honest with you. And then, of course, The Invasion of Time, which is Leela's departure story. We are back on Gallifrey. The Doctor is asking for pregnancy of the Time Lords. As well as some other random stuff going on in this era, in this story. Where Santara is afraid of Gallifrey at the end of part four. Just some good stuff in season 15. Now, second place, I really want this one to be, in, like, come out soon. It is season 20, which has Ark of Infinity, Snake Dance, Maureen Undead, Enlightenment, Terminus, The King's Demon. And, of course, my all-time favourite multi-Doctor story, The Five Doctors. I really want season 20 to come out on Blu-ray because I really think we could benefit it because The Five Doctors is just a massive, fantastic story. I absolutely love it. Now, the rest of the stories from season tw 20 are very hit and miss. You've got some good ones. You have some bad ones like you do in every season. The ones that really spring to mind is Ark of Infinity because that was my very first Peter Davison story I ever watched. So I have great memories of that story. We also have Snake Dance, which was the very first story I ever watched of the Mara, and I have got it on VHS as well. And as well, we also have the Maureen on Dead, which is a good story to bring back the Brigadier. We have Terminus Enlightenment. Now, Terminus is the weakest story, and I don't get why this um so certain left. I would have preferred she left at the end of the trilogy. Uh, Enlightenment, I really enjoy Enlightenment. I like the way with the Black Guardian, the White Guardian, having the kind of battle for Enlightenment. As well as, of course, the King's Demons, which is the, which is the return of the Master since Time Flight. And the Master has escaped from the planet Aserius, Serarin, something like that. As well, taking a shape-shifting robot known as Chameleon. Then, of course, we go to the Five Doctors. Now, the Five Doctors is the big 20th anniversary special. We have Richard Handel playing the first Doctor. We have Patrick Triton back as the second Doctor. We have John Pertwee back as the third Doctor. Peter Davis and Tom Baker didn't really come back, but they used some shots from Sharda, the untransmitted story. As well as we had the return of Cybermen, a Dalek, Yeti, the Master. You know, some of the stories that have really big villains, and this is a great story as well. And, of course, we have... Susan's return. We also see Jamie and Zoe's return after losing their like memories of the Doctor in the War Games. So the Doctor does click onto it like that. We have the return of the Brigadier once again, and I do like the way this. I do like the five Doctors for this one, as well as we have Sarah Jane who is traveling with the third Doctor. She goes, "No, you, you, yeah, of course it's me." Hello, Sarah. No, no, you know, no, no, you changed. You became all uh, teeth and curls. Yes. Yes, well, maybe I did, but I haven't yet. Okay. <laughs> I love the way the doctor goes, yes, maybe I did, but I haven't yet. I really like that story. And then, of course, the one season I really, really want on Blu-ray. Season 21. Of course, season 21 is going to hit this list. I really want season 21. Just because it has two, well, three great stories in it, to be honest. I really enjoy Frontios. I really enjoy Resurrection of Daleks. And of course, I really enjoy the caves of Andrasani. And then, of course, we have the kind of like two weakest things. But I really enjoyed Voice of the Deep a lot more 
than I do for the Twin Dilemma. I really hate the Twin Dilemma. I just don't like the Twin Dilemma. It's kind of makes for a story and... I get what they were going for it. I get what they were trying to go for it, but... <sighs> it's still not one of the best Six Doctor stories. And the way they just shoved it at the end of this season, it should have really just ended at the case of Androsani where Peter Davison just regenerated and made viewers wait nine months until January so they can see the next, the new Doctor. And I really think it should have been written out a lot better, but... Hey ho, I can't really moan about that, can I? Because it's already happened, it's been gone, but the twin dilemma is worse. I really prefer Warriors of the Deep to the twin dilemma. I really enjoy Warriors of the Deep a lot more. But this season, we also have The Awakening, and of course, one of my favourite stories of the season as well, which is The Planet of Fire, which is the finals battle against the Fifth Doctor, and of course, Anthony Ainley's incarnation of the Master. This is the last two. This is the last story we see those two doc, that doc, Peter Davison's doctor, Anthony Ainley come face to face, because Ainley and Peter Davison give such a great performance in their stories with the Doctor and the Master batting off each other. I don't really prefer. I don't really think Anthony Ainley got that with Colleen Baker, to be honest with you, because when he does return in Colleen Baker's run, they just shove the Irani, they just shove Irani into. Hit the story of him in it. And then, of course, in Trial of the Time Lord, he's just in the Matrix watching everything, and then he's going, the Valyard is the dark side of the Doctor. And he doesn't really do much for Colin Baker. And then he comes back with Sylvester McCoy, and he's top-notch. I really enjoy him with Sylvester McCoy and Peter Davison and Tom Baker than I do with Colin Baker's era. So this is the 10 seasons I would like to see come out on Blu-ray. What are the 10 seasons that you want to have out on Blu-ray? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching and have a great day.